Hey guys, D Smooth here. Right. Smooth Video Comics here. Same person. And today I'm going to talk about. This is another art and talk video. I'm going to talk about how to make a long running series. And it's quite simple. <clears throat> you see uh, how some shows are able to last for decades at a time, while other shows only go for one or two seasons and they're done. The way to make a long-running show or a long-running franchise is by splitting it into pieces. For example, let's look at the Ben 10 franchise. You have Ben 10, then you have Ben 10 Alien Force, then you have Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, and so on and so forth. You could look, look at Dragon Ball. You got Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and so on and so forth. And that's... Hey, dude, you, in order to make a long-running series, you have to split it into pieces. And each of those pieces has a different goal. Let's look at the Avengers films. Let's look at Marvel. Let's look at Marvel. Marvel has... Let's look at Marvel. Marvel has... Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. Phase 1 was about establishing the Avengers. Tony Stark, Thor, uh, Captain America. It was just meant to establish the main character for the Avengers. Then Phase 2 was about the Infinity Stones. Uh, expanding the universe, introducing Doctor Strange, introducing the Infinity Stones and all that. And then Phase 3 was about... Phase three was just introducing uh, Thanos and showing what Thanos was all about. And that was essentially what the Avengers, that's what Marvel was doing back then. That's how you make a long-running show, is by splitting it into pieces and focusing on different goals each time. Now, here's one thing you don't do. Adding a bunch of nonsensical filler into the show. Like, Steven Universe did this very, very wrong. Steven Universe was just constant filler after filler after filler after filler after filler after filler. To the point where the fans started turning against it. That's one thing you don't do. Right? is add nonsensical filler into the show. Now, if you're making a narrative-driven show, if you're making a narrative-driven series, like with a continuous story, then you're going to need to have a narrative uh, driven series so it's hard to write and think at the same time anyway the bottom line is if you want to make a long running series you have to split it into pieces each piece having a different goal to further the overall story Now, the Transformers franchise does this very well. People who grew up with Transformers, they experience different generations. Uh, and like, especially in the comics, it's one continuous continuity, but it's split into different parts with different characters and all that. That's how you make a long running franchise. And I do plan on doing that with Switch the Gender Ninja. Switch the Gender Ninja is gonna be split into three major parts. It's gonna be so it's Gender Ninja fighting Purple Shadow, the main antagonist. But then there's going to be After Shadow, which is about after defeating Purple Shadow. And Switch has his own country now. And it's going to continue uh, from similar points after that.
if you want to see the full comic, please hit the subscribe button. Then when the full comic comes out, you'll be able to see it. I do plan on making physical additions when I do get the money to do so. But here's the thing, guys. I can't give you the full comic if you don't hit that subscribe button. So, back on topic. So, yeah. To make a long running series, you gotta split it into pieces, each one with a different focus. Marvel did this excellently with the first three phases. Till you hit phase four. Phase four was trash. Now, sometimes you can start with a whole new gen and have new characters take over. Like, uh, I think Bo Boruto did this horribly. Boruto was trash. For you Boruto fans who want to defend it, please talk to me about it in the comments. How do you defend that garbage show? Anyway, that's all I got for today. See you guys later. Subscribe for the full comic. See you guys.